What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. D-Dub and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Last episode we built the Death From Above, which is a very simplistic, I don't know, I think it came out quite nice. It's very simple, nothing fancy about it, but it's a very simple, what is it called? Single rail suspended roller coaster, I think is the name of it. Suspended single rail roller coaster. I was close. <laughs> and then we also built Upstream Migration which has been pretty popular since we opened it. Uh, log flumes almost always are, so that is no surprise there. Uh, but in this episode, I wanted to build... Uh, last episode, we built two big coasters. This one, we're only probably going to build one uh, because we do have a couple smaller things that I would like to take care of first, uh, one of which is a boat hire. Um, I was thinking about building a boat hire in this park off or, uh, this morning when I was going for a run. I, I think about my parks a lot when I go for runs. Uh, believe it or not and I was thinking that we didn't have any water in this park and then I came back and looked at it and sure enough we do it's all right here I don't know what I was thinking uh, but I want to build a boat hire just because I feel like it would uh, fit nicely I was about to put my entrance all the way at the back there we'll do the entrance right here right here and the exit right there um, we do need to get rid of a few of these trees but I'm just gonna allow it uh, to be one of the kind of free free flowing free direction i don't know exactly the word for it they can go wherever they want to go that style um because i don't really feel like putting track through here i think it would kind of make the the lake look not as nice given it already has ride supports almost covering all of it so it's not the prettiest lake to begin with anyway but that's beside the point uh, do we have any mechanics nearby? It doesn't appear we do. Closest ride is... Well, no, because this mechanic is covering everything else. We'll hire another one just for this. Not that it's super important, but... Actually, we'll name this guy Hire Me. <laughs> Why? Because it's a boat hire. And I'm feeling good today, so I'm... I get witty when I feel good, or when I'm in a good mood. <laughs> uh, and this just broke down it looks like upstream migration what happened here safety cutout oh I'm clicking on all the things I don't mean to be yeah so this will be interesting when this starts or when it opens back up they don't get stuck because the flow of the water pushes them forwards but I'll just watch this for a sec while I finish up boat hire one um, so <laughs> color scheme isn't important because you can't see any of it and then the boats um, what can we do we can do six rowing boats five pedal boats five canoes I don't really want to do a canoe for this I don't know I feel like they'll that doesn't look the best in this area uh, but yeah this all still works it just looks awful uh, let's do yeah bumper boats gives us eight boats as well so that allows us to have the most number of people on it we'll do bumper boats uh, and we'll charge I don't know, about 50, maybe? Mechanic 6. Is that our free Roman guy? I believe it is. Yeah, it is. Perfect. He's close enough anyway. Uh, okay. So, do people want to go on this at $1.50? They do, because we can charge $3. That is a lot of money for something like this. Something more thrilling. Making sure he wasn't not going on it because it was too expensive. I don't believe they will. That should be fine. Uh, boat hire one. What is this guy doing? Handyman eight. You can cover all of that now. All right. Well, we'll see if people go on this at a later date. For now, I think it's okay. Oh, yeah. There's a guy right there. Okay. So, boat color. What if we do... Blue and green? That's kind of nice. I like that. It kind of goes with the lake and the scenery very nicely. I like it. If that guy goes all the way back to the station already, that's going to be the shortest. Okay, he's making some turns. Okay. Um, <laughs> reminded me of a game from my childhood that I actually never played as a child. I don't know why I said it was from my childhood. First time I ever played the game Duck Hunt was in college, but it's from before I was even born. So, if you don't know what that game is, look it up. It's a game for the, I think it was the SNES? The NES, I don't remember. 
but you would point a plastic gun at it, the screen and shoot ducks out of the sky. It was the very first thing of its kind, I believe. And that's what made it so awesome. All right, there were some other small things I wanted to do. A observation tower, and then I don't think we'll do a car ride in this episode, but, oh, I think this spot will work. I don't think we'll do a car ride, but I think we'll do a swinging ship, which we just unlocked. That's awesome. Um, I think this one's in our way. We could do that there. We'll make this as high as it can go. Because this park is so forested, I think they would need to get all the way up into the sky in order to be able to see pretty much anything. Alright, so we'll do our entrance here. No, we'll do it right here. Because the path starts sloping down, I believe, here. I could be wrong, um, but I think this will look nicer. And I'm liking how we've placed most of our stations and attractions so far. We haven't had to do a lot of exit pathways. We've done them one tile away from kind of the main path. Uh, so that saved us a lot of a lot of footpath. Not that that's a lot of work or anything, but I think it comes out nicely whenever that's the case. Uh, let's actually try a. Uh, maybe a gray? Yeah, that kind of looks nice. I like that. And then we'll do that same color green for the base there. Ooh, that looks a little too bright. That's better. There we go. Okay. And then we need some footpath. Ooh, that actually... Was that cut off? Yeah, that's a kind of a steep drop there. What are you doing, man? Get back on the path. <laughs> I guess he got there when I put that path. I didn't see it happen, but I'm assuming that's what caused that. All right, let's go ahead and open Tower 1. Um, this actually would be a... What did I name my slide here? Deer Blind? This would actually be a better name for the tower because it actually serves more of a function. Um... Hmm. I'm just trying to think of some cool names that would be somewhat hunting related. Uh, ooh, this is kind of cool. At least I think so. The sharpshooter. Because you're all the way up top, you could pick off our entertainers from up top. <laughs> Hopefully not. Please play nice guests. I actually might hire, now that I'm thinking of that, three more entertainers because... Because I can, for one, and because I did say last episode I didn't want them getting hunted, but only having three, I don't know. I don't feel like it's enough for this park. I feel like we should have more animals around the park. And by animals, I mean people dressed as animals. I think that we might even add more by the end, but for now, I think that is just fine. Uh, this mechanic right here, Flume, come cover this, please. That looks like it covers it all. All right, sharpshooter is open and awaiting test results. We probably should have made that line a little bit longer. We're actually going to do that. I'd like it to be able to hold at least 20 people in the line because I believe that's the capacity of the ride. Yeah, it is. So we'll actually, we'll wait till these people get on and then we'll do it one, two, actually, can I delete that? There we go. I have it in mind. So we'll do a flat piece there. We'll go up. That gives us three pieces. And that gives us four tiles. So we'll actually, as soon as people get on this, we will delete it. Delete it there and place it right there. And that gives us a little bit of a longer line, which I think will serve a purpose. And I think I actually accidentally deleted a tree right there. I did not mean to. Where it went... I don't remember, but let's say it went right there. Perfect. Okay, and we also need to paint the cabin, which I don't think we've done yet. Um, let's just make this dark, all dark green without... That's kind of cool. It changes the color. I actually like that. We're going to stick with that. We might have done this paint scheme before, but I don't care. I think it looks nice. And so we're going to stick with that. All right, the sharpshooter 
is now open. I don't think there was anything else we needed to do to this. There is, adjust the price. 450 excitement rating. <laughs> That's what I get for putting it all the way in the sky. That is insane. He's not thirsty. That's a good thought to have about an observation tower. Man, look at that ride. I'm not thirsty at all. What? That <laughs> makes no sense. Okay, uh, the swinging ship. We'll need one of these. Oh, and I came up with an idea for a roller coaster in this park. I don't want to do it this episode. Um, one, I don't think we'll have enough time to do it. And two, uh, it's going to take probably the, an entire episode just because of how labor intensive it will be. Um, but I'm thinking, how cool would it be? I've been complaining since the start of this that we don't have... Where's that tree in our way? Uh, we don't have a lot of space in this park purely because of how many trees there are. And that is very true. However, this game is not realistic enough that trees go underground. So, I'm thinking. Uh, we unlocked a, um, a mine train coaster. I just lost this ride. We unlocked a mine train coaster last episode. I'm thinking, how cool would it be if we did a ride entirely or almost entirely underground uh, this is one downside of having a mechanic that can go wherever sometimes he's the one that gets the call and he's on the opposite side of the park but I don't know but anyway yeah having a mine train coaster kind of primarily underground uh, but not entirely underground I think that could be really cool actually Sorry about your bench, dude. All right, that's that. And again, we don't have to build, you can't see it, but we don't have to build any exit footpath because it's already right there. Perfect. Okay, do we have a mechanic in this area? Yes, we do. You, sir. Turnpike. Looks like he's already covering it. I can't quite tell, so we'll add that just in case. And we will up our swings because that allows us to charge so much more money. Test. Open. I'm going to guess we can get away with 280, I think. 330. I was 50 cents off. I don't know where I had that number in mind or where I got that number from, but I got it from somewhere. Okay, so the brown supports I like. Um, the boat itself, I'd like to do... I kind of want it to blend in with the the thatch roof style there so kind of like some lighter browns um and maybe how does this look no that's a little too much gray what if we do it just a brown for that Ooh, i like that that looks nice and pretty let's actually swap those since that's more of the accent color Ooh, okay yeah i like that looks very wooden looks like an actual boat or ship my apologies um so yeah that's that's done we need a name for it but did we actually name did we name our boat hire yes we did duck hunt sorry i uh, when i build a lot of things sometimes i do i go through all these steps on each one and sometimes i forget which which steps i've taken care of on which right uh, okay so this is a swinging ship um Oh, man. Uh, I'm trying to think of... What are they called? Like, I'm trying to think of like a butcher shop and like the little hooks that you hang like your meat on. I don't know why that's popping into mine or in my mind. Um, so we're just going to name this Dangling Meat Hooks because I can't think of what they're actually called. Dangling Meat Hooks. That is the most appealing ride name I think I've ever done. <laughs> right up there with Soggy Log. Okay, so we're in May. We got a little time left. Let's build Let's build a roller coaster. We haven't done that yet. Or not, at least this episode. Um, what should we build? So we have a swinging or a suspended single rail roller coaster. 
I don't know if we have enough money or space in our park for one of these. I know we still haven't built a suspended roller coaster yet, and I, I mean to, but they are one of the most expensive rides to build. Um, just because of, I don't know, it's all about doing turns and helices on those rides. And oh my goodness, the helices are like $800 a piece. Um, and I know we have almost 16 grand, but I don't think that would be enough to build it. So instead, I'm going to build a crazy rodent roller coaster. Where that's going to go, though, I'm not sure. Uh, where is our nearest footpath in this area? All the way over here. There's room back here for something. But I, I don't know. There's also a lot of room back here. That could work. Uh, what, yeah, what if we do it... Hold on. I'm getting ideas. And I like when an idea is... Okay. Idea gotten. Okay, so we're actually going to build this somewhat backwards from the start here. Uh, just because that piece right there is going to be the absolute front. Uh, and then this is going to go back quite a bit. Or not quite a bit, but a little bit. I think right there is good. Yeah, I said for this one I wanted to keep it kind of condensed, and I plan on doing that, but in this area. So it's going to kind of be, it's going to go over in this area, be nice and condensed, and then it'll have to make its way back to the exit here. Um, and on this one, it's yet another ride where I'm probably going to need to add my lines first, because we're not going to have a ton of room. Hold on, I'm trying to think how this could all line up. Uh, we're not going to have a ton of room to work with on our way back, so I want to make sure we get this taken care of first. Um, so the exit is going to be interesting. Exit's going to go right there, which means the entrance is going to go on the back side here and come out. Ooh, it's going to have to go all the way down this hill. Um, yeah, that'll have to work. So get that tree out of here. And it's going to have to go all the way down here. That's a very long entrance. But it works with the rest of our park. <laughs> okay. So that is our entrance and exit, which again, I think look kind of nice. Uh, having them kind of go under and over each other, I think looks pretty cool. We'll add a couple benches there, and let's get back to building our crazy rodent roller coaster. Uh, okay, so that's good. It looks like we gain an extra tile of our park here. No, it just goes down and it looked like it. Never mind. Uh, this is probably going to be too high for supports. No, it's not. Perfect. We can even salvage that, salvage that tree, too. Okay, so... We started at 15, we went up to 25. This is gonna be insane in a good way. All right, so we need to go up here. Oh, and I just thought of a, I don't know if you'd call it a story, but something to share <laughs> that happened at work. Uh, was it, it was two days ago now. At work, two days ago, uh, we found a mouse in the office. Um, yeah, a mouse. Not a rat, which was nice, but a mouse. So one of my coworkers was in the office. And it was just her in the office. The rest of us were out at the uh, front desk. And she said she heard some sort of... She said it sounded like a bird um, that was like stuck behind a filing cabinet. And I thought that was kind of strange uh, because... We don't have birds in the building, or at least I hoped we didn't have birds in the building. And uh, so she didn't think much of it. And so she just kind of kept going about her business. And then a couple minutes later, she hears it again. And she turns around and looks, and on the desk, there is a mouse. Uh, and it's not a big mouse. It was really small and cute. Uh, it was It was so tiny. Uh, but <laughs> she started taking a video of it. And uh, will that work if I do that? She started taking a video of it. 
Yes, it will. Um, and in the video, she ended up showing to me, showing it to me after the fact, and she was filming it, and it, it was fine until it started moving towards her, which absolutely just freaked her out, uh, which I thought was hilarious. She just started swearing, and she just, she absolutely lost it. It was pretty funny. Uh, and this thing was like, I don't know, smaller than the size of your fist. It was, it was extremely small. Not something that I don't, I would say most people, but I'm sure some people are just horrified of that. Not something that I would feel would be that scary, but to her, it just scared the crap out of her. But anyway, so she showed this video to me, uh, when I got back from whatever I was doing and one, I thought it was hilarious because she was so scared scared uh and two you know it's a small mouse and so i go back in the office and we all just start like uh the two of us as well as our other coworker, we just start kind of like tearing apart the office to see if we could find it uh i say tearing apart gently it wasn't like we were flipping stuff over and we were kind of getting all the boxes off the floor and just making sure that there wasn't really as many places it could hide because it was being very elusive. We could not seem to find it. So we ended up finding it later, or at least uh, my coworker did. She found it again. Uh, but again, she was the only one in the office to see it. And so none of us got to see it. I know that makes perfect sense. Um, <laughs> or that's pretty plain as day. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to think where this could end up lining up. Okay, sorry, that'll work. Um, but yeah, so she saw it again. She didn't get any video of it this time or anything. But again, we tried looking for it again. Still, absolutely no luck. Um, I ended up just saying, you know, forget it. I just went in the office and just was kind of doing the work that I needed to do. And uh, I'm sitting there at uh, the computer, or... Uh, the desk and all of a sudden I it was kind of strange because I popped my knuckle at the same time um, I pop my knuckles if that's bad for me I eh, whatever I do it um, I pop my knuckle and the sound that was made was not the sound of a knuckle popping um, or at least not by itself uh, that's not gonna clear that um, what I mean by that is, as I popped my knuckle, I heard the sound of my knuckle pop, but I also heard another sound, which I, it was strange, because I didn't expect to hear anything else when I popped my knuckles. I expected to hear the popping of my knuckles, and that was it, but that wasn't it. Um, so I looked down. It sounded like it was coming from behind the desk, and so I look back behind the desk, and I look on top of the computer, and sure enough, there's the mouse, and I get down, and I look at it. I shine my flashlight at it from my phone, and as soon as I do, it scurries up the desk, up the wires behind the computer, and uh, speaking of mice, this is a perfect story uh, for the ride that we're building, uh, but anyway, it climbed up the cables behind the computer, like the power cable and the speakers, uh, the speaker cables, the monitor cable, all that climbed up the cables behind the desk and then just sat there on the monitor uh, riser, and it just sat there and just looked at me, and it was... It was so cute. Uh, we have to do mouse cars for this ride. Uh, it was. It sat there for a little bit. I got a photo of it, and then it started scurrying around the desk. And this is my supervisor's desk. And she, I texted her about it. She just kind of freaked out. She ended up getting into work this morning and uh, like wiping down her desk like completely from head to toe with Clorox wipes, which I can't blame her. She found mouse droppings all over the place. Uh, but yeah, that that was my uh, encounter with a mouse at work the other night. It made that 12 and a half hour shift a little bit more bearable. <laughs> but okay, let's go ahead and test our mouse coaster here and see how this comes out. I have a feeling I'm going to need to uh, redo some things because of how, I don't know, I was invested in the story and not in ride building, but... We'll see how this goes. Yup. <laughs> okay, yeah. Glad I didn't get too far into that. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll lower this. 
So instead of a angled and then a flat piece, we'll do, I think this is what I had. That might be the exact thing, exact same thing I just had. I'm not sure. I think it's different. I hope it's different. But let's go ahead and test this again. And uh, hopefully it goes a little better. Oh, I meant to only let one car out because that could have been bad. Okay, we need to paint this and again, keep an eye on it. Yeah, that's going to be the same thing. I thought that was a slight bend and not a... I thought wrong. Okay. So that's clearly not going to work. Uh, let's do that. That's at 18. We should be able to get away with this. Yeah. So it's going to be slightly different than I had planned. That's okay, though. Uh, no, it's not okay. Actually. No, it's not. Um, what can we get away with here? Will that line us up somewhat close? I think it will. Sorry for this. This is what happens when I try to tell stories. I'm not saying it's anyone's fault but my own, but still. I think that connects up fine. Okay, let's give that another test, and hopefully that works better this time. Uh, in the meantime, let's paint it, because I have a feeling I'm going to have to pause this again for one reason or another. Okay, that works. So far, so good. Uh, where's the next incline? Okay, so this is going really slow. It'll have more speed once we get guests on it, so I'm not worried about it being too unexciting. I can't even see it. Okay, so it'll make it. <laughs> Oh man, this is uh, an interesting ride. Okay, it'll work. It's successful. Or at least it makes it from start to end in one piece. That is what I'm considering successful currently. Uh, but let's go ahead and charge. I'm going to guess this isn't going to be too incredibly exciting. We'll go with 350 for now. Uh, that'll be my guess. We'll see if I'm right. Probably not. Wow. Okay, I'm not going to complain. $6.90 for that not-so-great ride that I just built. I don't think it's fantastic. I mean, it's okay. It. Let me see it with people on it. Maybe I'll change my mind. That guy is moving so slow. All right, I'm going to watch it again with someone actually on it uh, and see the momentum change because it was incredibly slow, that first run. Oh yeah, so much better already. That's interesting how it can get test results with an empty car and then it completely changed the experience with a full car. I, I don't quite know how that works, but again, this game is very old. It doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. Okay, so we got our price. We need to paint this thing. Um, I, we're definitely keeping our, our mouse colors here. Actually, we'll make this look like the mouse that I saw. It was black with some gray. That doesn't really pop. Let's do gray with white. That pops a little more. Uh, and we'll name this after the mouse. <laughs> we actually named it. Um, we came up with two names. One if it was a male and one if it was a female. We said if we caught it, we were going to sex it so we could determine its name. Uh, but we'll actually name this Mark slash Mildred the Mouse. <laughs> Mark if it was a guy, Mildred if it was a female. <laughs> okay, that will do it for Mark slash Mildred the Mouse. Once we finish painting it, I forgot to do the actual track. And then let's do, I think black looks fine. Yeah, we'll do black. That's a very minimalistic looking ride, but I think it looks nice. All right, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. Thank you for listening to my wonderfully entertaining story. I hope you found that interesting. 
Uh, if you'd like to hear me tell stories more often instead of, all right, we're going to take this up, now turn it to the left, now go down slightly, uh, let me know. I will try to come up with stories to tell for some of our longer coaster builds like this. Uh, but I can't always promise I'll have one. I don't live a extremely interesting life, so I'm not always going to have fresh stories. But if you want to hear them, and I have them, I will be glad to share what I do have. So thank you guys again very much for watching. I will see you next time in our next episode. And until then, take care.